Hey guys, it's Chris from Fairly Awesome Podcast with your Fairly Awesome WTF movie review. Oh, what the f Is this for real? Continuing the Starship Troopers sequel reviews is this week's movie, Starship Troopers 3 Marauder. Starship Troopers 3 Marauder brings back a few familiar faces with a slightly higher budget than Starship Troopers 2. This time around, the film is directed by the writer of the first two installments, as well as number three, Ed Neumeyer. While that might help a little bit from number two, which, now that I think about it, is a fairly accurate depiction of that movie, it still doesn't quite meet the quality level of the original, but it's a step in the right direction. The bug war continues to rage on, and while the mobile infantry is still at the forefront of fighting the arachnid army, some may be beginning to wonder if we're losing the war. <laughs> of course not, silly. The fighters have switched back to slightly more effective bullet-based weapons, and the newest tool in the mobile infantry, the CM-29 Interceptor Shovel also known as Doug, for some reason. Meanwhile, anti-war commentary has been declared illegal and punishable by death. To top it all off, the current Sky Marshal, the highest rank in the federal military, is also an entertainer who has provided the military with a rousing theme song and a lucrative revenue stream. Would you like to buy more? Johnny Rico, the hero of Planet P from the original Starship Troopers, and pretty much the only recurring character thus far, has advanced to the rank of Colonel. Stationed on the planet Rokusan, he gets word that the Sky Marshal, along with several old friends, will be visiting to check up on the war effort. During their visit, the outer base defenses fail, and the arachnids that had been kept at bay begin slaughtering everyone in the base. As the base falls apart, Rico fights back, but ultimately is trapped under a bunker. Meanwhile, the Sky Marshal and his helpers escape back to their ship and flee. As they make their way back to the home, their ship is attacked and warped, and they're forced to crash land on planet OM-1. Back at home, Rico is blamed for the loss of Rokusan, and sentenced to death. General Dixhauser, Rico's friend who attempted to have him arrested on Rokusan, finds out that Admiral Fitt is attempting to cover up the Sky Marshal's disappearance to clear her path to becoming Sky Marshal. Hauser recruits Rico to help him lead a rescue mission to retrieve both the Sky Marshal and Captain Beck, Hauser's girlfriend. Jumping back to OM-1, the stranded fighters die one by one as they're herded to their final destination by a contingent of arachnids. Over the course of their journey, they have several religious discussions as the Sky Marshal insists they will soon meet their lord but it may not be the lord everyone else expects. Back at home again, Hauser confronts Fid about abandoning the Sky Marshal. He learns that the Sky Marshal is harboring a dirty secret that could lead to the downfall of humanity. Is the war effort doomed? Will the bugs win? Will there be scenes of fantastic full frontal nudity? The answer to one of these questions is an overwhelming yes. While not as ridiculously terrible as Starship Troopers 2, Hero of the Federation, Starship Troopers 3 is still a directed video sequel. Whereas the previous sequel bastardized some of the schlocky propaganda from the first film, Marauder does a better job of getting things back on track by outlawing war press protests with the threat of death, using entertainment propaganda to sell knickknacks to fund the war effort, and turning to a militarized religion to attempt to capitalize on the devotion it entails. Also returning are the grisly deaths from the first movie, with plenty of amputation, geysers of blood, and good old-fashioned jumping on an arachnid grenade. There's also a good two or three minutes of that full frontal nudity that, while unnecessary, is nearly always appreciated. Casper Van Dien returns as Johnny Rico. As with Starship Troopers 2, most of the other actors have pretty healthy TV backgrounds. Most notable is Jolene Blaylock, who plays Captain Beck, who starred as the Vulcan T'Pol on Star Trek Enterprise. The acting improves a bit, but is still a little goofy at times. The effects are a little better this time around, which helps the movie along. Overall, Marauder is nowhere near as disappointing as the Hero of the Federation, but then again, Hero of the Federation set the bar pretty low. Marauder also does a better job of flowing from the concept of the original Starship Troopers, and even includes a few things left out of the first film that were in the novel, like the Q-Bomb. So if you're tempted, go ahead and watch Marauders. And for the love of God, skip Hero of the Federation. Ain't no reason to watch that. So there you have Starship Troopers 3 Marauder. Keep an eye out for the final sequel, for now, Invasion. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for our video updates. Leave any comments or suggestions for movies you'd like to see reviewed down in the comments below. Follow us on Twitter at Fabcast. Like us on Facebook, and unless shitty movies get taken out with a Q-bomb, we'll see you next time. We are now recording audio. Now recording audio. We were not recording audio before. Oh, with all that wonderful audio magic that should have happened. Um, go ahead. We'll turn the lights back on, I guess. Prepare to fry, motherfucker. Wow, so bright. Oh god, my eyes. It's burning. Watch him in the right spot.